When it comes to Gala Games, we have absolute bombshell leaks that recently came out from their president of blockchain, aka the path of the berserker, Jason Bitbender, talking a little bit about, you know, it, there's just so much going on with Gala Games. He's talking about the future of Gala Games, he's talking about all the big catalysts, Benefactor comes in, decides to leak a bunch of different things, and there is so much going on within the Gala Games ecosystem, so without further ado, if you enjoy content like this, like, subscribe, things have been awesome lately, and let's get right into to this news because I wanted to kind of touch base on some news that we had learned about yesterday. I mean, this, this news is moving at the speed of light. Gala Games has been something that was really slow for quite some time, and I think they're letting the floodgates rip loose here because... So th they they recently had this image up, and they said, what if we decided to add utility to the OG Crypto Kitties to a mobile game? I think it would be really cool. And when you see this, take it with a grain of salt, nothing is confirmed. But, if you look at this image here, and then you looked at Meow Match on the App Store, tell me that this doesn't look identical. This little cat over here looks identical to this little kitty over here. So, a lot of people are beginning to speculate that Ember Entertainment is the major mobile game studio that was bought by Gala Games. And in fact, we heard something from Bitbender today that may even further solidify their stance on the mobile gaming genre. Now, if we just take a very quick peek on Ember Entertainment here, we can see that they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They have 8 games that are currently on the App Store. Remember that Bitbender said that 15 games were bought from this studio? So, we're not certain if this just means that they're currently in development and haven't been released, or whether or not this could encompass more than just Ember Entertainment. And, I mean, it could just not be Ember Enter Entertainment. So, take it with a grain of salt, but... It looks pretty much identical. I mean, Meow Patch, and this looks identical. But let's go over the things that we learned today. Because there's a lot more content than just this little kitty cat. So, Bitbender went out here and talked about the context for their pivot. Okay? Let's just go ahead and read this. Time for a little bit more Gala Games context around the pivot to include mobile and what that means for the whole Gala ecosystem. When we started Gala, part of the reason because we wanted to give people a truck in town star on Ethereum and the app stores would not allow it. The hostility of app stores and mobile makers to blockchain was one of the main reasons we originally focused on desktop gaming. The problem is, of course, that the desktop isn't where most people do their gaming any longer. Isn't that interesting? I mean, when I first got into gaming, everybody was on desktop having, uh, hammering at StarCraft, at Lineage, at Diablo 2, a lot of these big desktop titles. It's slowly really been moving into mobile gaming. There has to be a different Wait, in recent months, there's been a thawing of the odd attitude towards blockchain. I mean, you see that Superior is kind of on Steam Early Access, something that Steam said that they would essentially never do. Add NFT technology and ban that right there. You could see clear as day, you know, Superior is on there, even if it's a little bit of a different version where the NFTs have to be onboarded from the Galas. You know, it's, it's a little complicated, but nonetheless, it is there. And that's quite the interesting thing because you don't really see that every day. And something else... I mean, when it comes to Epic Games, they've got grit. So, they've got a lot of progress in terms of some of these Web 2 or traditional marketplaces for video games beginning to kind of be a little bit more open to Gala Games, with more and more opportunities for integration opening up. Previously, in high-level talks, we weren't able to make much progress. This is no longer true, so maybe they're moving really fast. All of this sets the stage for a broadening of our focus to include mobile gaming as well, whether it is casual games or serious mobile experiences. The sound of tinkling bells on collars of clicking chips on felt. I don't know what he's going for here. Let me know in the comment section what that means. Some people are saying something about poker and casinos. Mobile gaming opens the Gala ecosystem to hundreds of millions of new users. What will it mean when people are able to jump in and play in a seamless mobile experience on our Layer 1 blockchain gyre? Not just the hardcore desktop gamers and cryptonauts, but everyone. This is the promise of mobile gaming. This does not mean a pivot away from desktop gaming. All that is still happening, but there's a lot more happening on the mobile front as well, and that will hit much sooner, and I couldn't be more excited to see it all unfold. Without further ado, Jason saying, let's go, people. We're building a new world for tomorrow. Come join us. Now, this is massive. I mean, he's essentially saying that mobile is going to be the first thing that really hits for Gala Games, 
And I've been saying this for the longest of time if you've seen my videos. Mobile gaming, indie games, the two places that are going to make Web3 gaming take off. Now, the reason for that is because it's accessibility. People love playing games on their phone. Even I, as someone that was a maxi on desktop games like League of Legends and Challenger there, I played a ton of mobile games like Summoner's War, Lord's Mobile, uh, Clash of Clans, you know, so many of these different mobile games that were really big uh, during my childhood. I played the heck out of them. And so getting into Bitbender here, he's kind of embracing the mobile gaming sphere. That's pretty awesome to hear. But even further, I could make two videos on this, guys, but I'm just spoiling you guys at this point. So we have Benefactor here saying, first of all, I want to thank everyone who's shown me so much excitement about what we're doing here at Gala. By the way, this isn't even about Gala Games. Did you know that Gala Games was more than Gala Games? And they had Gala Film and they had Gala Music. And uh, you're really going to want to read this. Okay, so let me read this out. I think it's very encouraging and appreciated. I promise to say a little bit about our strategy for film today. This is insane, by the way. Again, and as usual, we are not messing around. We've partnered with some really exciting people and projects. We are, as you're reading this, developing two films with The Rock, aka Dwayne Johnson, and Mark Wahlberg. Two absolutely huge forces in the entertainment industry. You've seen their work on screen, but I think their presence might be even more powerful off screen. And we are so happy to get the chance to work with them. The exciting thing for the ecosystem, though, is this is yet another huge opportunity to bring in an extremely large number of users onto our blockchain. Are you serious right now? They're getting The Rock and Mark Wahlberg for Gala Film and Gala Me What is going on right now? Think about it for a moment. Imagine going to a movie and there's a QR code on your ticket to redeem a digital item. The item is been selling on OpenSea, so why wouldn't you take a look? Imagine again you're watching a film on Netflix and a QR code shows up there as well. These are just some of the use cases. Integration with our games and our music is another very exciting prospect. Would you want to add Hogwarts to your Vox vs. Land? Or maybe there's another movie you saw on Gala Film that you need to have in your collection. Ghost of Rooms looks like it's going to be a hit. All this is to say that Gala Film is going to use Gala as its own gas token because Gala Film will be on the blockchain. The millions of fans interested in The Rock or Mark Wahlberg or Ghost of Ruins or David Bianchi's RZR all will be collecting digital items. These items will be needing gas and that gas is Gala because guess what? Jiry runs off Gala. We aren't slowing down guys and I'm glad you're on the ride with us how crazy guys smash the luck like button the rock and mark Wahlberg are going to be working with gala wow i i mean I, i'm lost for words with how much is happening here and uh even even crazier for me was gala games went ahead and, and quote tweeted me i mean these guys are shouting me out as well so it's, it's been insane the level of growth we've been experiencing over the past couple of days. There's no doubt in my mind that it's because Gala has been doing all of these crazy announcements that, I mean, they've got The Rock. I don't, I don't think I need to, like, this is not sugarcoating anything. I, I'm reading as, as it is. There's so many big things coming to Gala. So, I mean, I guess this is it. I mean, my name is Classic Crypto Gaming. If you enjoy this content for Gala Games, feel free to go ahead, like, and subscribe. We're going to be churning it out. Uh, we now have a Twitter page dedicated to Gala Games and crypto gaming in general. So feel free to follow us at Classic Games underscore. But as always, until the next one, stay safe, stay classy, and then that's all.